This is why breaks her death. Oh my gosh. I, <coughs> I'm actually really upset. That explains why freaking 35 miles felt like 60 miles. This bike tour and video is sponsored by Wabi Cycles. To find out more about the bike that I'm riding 775 miles from Sacramento to San Diego, California, be sure to check out the card linked above and Wabi Cycles linked in the description. I'm really hoping that today's ride will not be as gnarly as yesterday's it's only 45 miles instead of 65 but there is 2,000 feet of climbing i did realize that i mean this is my first time riding this gear ratio 49 22 and it's the lowest gear ratio i've ever run i really suck at spinning uh i averaged 10 miles an hour yesterday 10.5 which is still fine but I, I really need to get my spin game up. I was a fool to think that today would be better, that today would be less windy. So you can see these windmills in the distance. They're going pretty crazy, except for this one. And whenever they stop the windmills, you know that it's super windy. They have to stop it because they're generating too much electricity and there's not enough people and not enough demand to use up all the electricity they're using because it's so windy. It's like a consistent like 18 mile an hour headwind that I'm riding straight into. Not super easy with a big ass backpack. But this is about like a negative 4% descent. And it is so windy that it just makes it feel like it's flat. Here we go, first big hill of the ride. And right over this hill is the Bay Area. Doesn't matter if I'm slow. All that matters is that I'm smooth. I am so glad I have the 22 tooth right now. Even with it, it's pretty gnarly. I see the top. Never mind, there's more. Here it is. Bay Area. This is why hills are better than headwinds. Because headwinds don't end. With a hill, you know where it ends, you can see it. The hills out here, man. I'll be carrying like, like almost 40 pounds of gear. Uh, it doesn't help. <laughs> so right now I'm going to visit my friend Matt. Uh, he's another fixed gear guy. He said he lives at the top of a hill. And I'm really hoping he doesn't mean like the tippity top of a hill right there. Cause I'm, I'm at the end of my rope. I need some lunch. Up and up and up and up. Ooh. He wasn't kidding when he said the top of a hill. Oh. I mean, there's technically more hill up there, but you know, there's no houses there. <laughs> this is why breaks her death. Oh my gosh. I, <coughs> I'm actually really upset. That explains why freaking 35 miles felt like 60 miles. Yo, what up? <laughs> I understand why you ride 42, 22 now. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> With this at least, yeah. <laughs> I realized something really stupid. So, for the past maybe like 20 miles, my brake was rubbing and I had no idea. And I only just found out because it's quiet enough here to hear it rubbing. So you have put an extra Yes, <laughs> I am so tired right now. There you go. Jesus. <laughs> Why? Why, Zach? Why would you do God, this? I gotta make the content. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm dump the laptop in the camera. <laughs> like it's, it's, it's too much. It's way too much. I had, I didn't have any chance to test my gear because I had a cold for the past like two weeks. Yeah. Hey, hey Penny. Penny. Say hi, Penny. Hello. Hey, do you smell Seymour, or is it covered up by the highway now? You probably smell Seymour. Hello. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what a reaction. I get that a lot. The simplest thing become such great pleasures. Oh. That's 
lawn chair under a tree. Oh, this is great. So how the heck do you spin so fast? Cause, yeah, because this is the lowest ratio I've ever run. And like, once I get up to like maybe 100 RPM, I start bouncing already. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you're new to the spin to win game, as I like to call it. You're gonna probably need to take a month or so to spin and get used to it. Uh huh. Because you have to free up your hips. A lot of people, a lot of people have stiff hips, oh. and I have stiff hips. I have stiff hips. I have uh, stiff like groin muscles too. So being able to flex my hips up and down is almost it's almost a chore. So yeah, it, it takes a lot of work to to like get used to it if you're not used to it at least. I even found myself backpedaling on the flats just because I started bouncing. <laughs> So I think I'm gonna switch over to the 19 tooth. Got a mash to smash. Mm -hmm. Are you on your 22 right now? I am. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> That's how a break is supposed to work, okay. Bro, this is hella steep. <laughs> This is the better way? I don't know, this one feels pretty damn steep. <laughs> oh, my legs. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Come on, Pete. <laughs> you fat bastard. <laughs> This is the real locals way. This is the true locals way. <laughs> oh my gosh. I would never find this. So you got this route, this route from like MapQuest or something. <laughs> Yahoo Maps. I think it's Yahoo. Thank you for escorting me. Yep, absolutely. Gotta get you the right path. So now you're just gonna smash back and then smash another ride? Yeah, 30, 30 minutes <laughs> to get back to the ride You, you got this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, I'll, I'll text you when I get to my sister's. Sounds good. Ride safe, man. You too. It's good seeing you. Yeah. Good hosting, man. <laughs> All right, See later, you. Matt. Oh, this is the type of route we have to make because the bike infrastructure is so terrible in the United States. It's so freaking windy, dude. This is legitimately one of the most beautiful bike rides I've ever done in my life. And I don't give two dams about it because it's eight o'clock, it's cold, I need to have dinner. I've been on this damn bike since nine o'clock this morning. And all I wanna do is take a shower and go to bed. But it is pretty, so it is that. Super bike friendly here in Emeryville, this is great. Oh. <laughs> Took the scenic route. <laughs> the whole thing? Yeah, throw it on his place. Hey, Watson. Good boy. Okay. Good boy. <laughs> I want, like, the fattiest food possible, so that's great. Really? Okay, good. Yeah, because I just need calories. Yeah. <laughs> like, as many as possible. Oh, that's really good. Ending. What is the true ending? Probably not. And then you were like, they were like, oh, you have to turn night into day, or day into day. Oh. I remember that, and then I was like, I'm not doing this. <laughs>